We've been spending the last few months renovating our house and it is finally time to show you the results of our living room. So this is the before and here is a quick recap of almost everything that we've done. So we removed all of the old fixtures. We opened up this doorway by making it wider and raising the headers. There's another doorway in the living room that we did the same thing to just to make this room feel a little bit more open and bigger. We added new framing to this and then we got started on the floors. These floors are 70 years old and we wanted to restore them so we removed all of the old staples and then we did weeks of sanding and then staining and sealing them. We added new mud and drywall and baseboards and trim and primer and paint to the walls and this is a reminder of the before. And this is what it looks like right now. We are so excited about the results. It's been a lot of hard work and we are so excited to show you the other rooms. You already saw a sneak peek of the finished kitchen, but now it's time for the full reveal. So the first thing we did was take out all major appliances and demo the cabinetry and scrape off the old brick veneer. The floors had three layers of linoleum that we spent days scraping off and then we replaced it with white oak flooring to match the rest of the house which was refinished. We had to remove the drywall because it was super damaged and we added insulation, new drywall, new mud and then we started putting in our cabinets. We chose the color Lounge Green by Sherwin-Williams for the kitchen. We both love green, we think it's a fun pop of color, and we picked a vintage shade to match the vintage vibes of the kitchen. That was the before, and this is what it looks like now. We are so in love with it. It is literally our dream kitchen. We love the color, we love that it is bigger and brighter, and we can't wait to show you some of the cool features in it. You wanted to see it, so here is the reveal of our laundry room. This is the before. That closet had the water heater inside and a coat closet at the end of the hallway. The first thing we did was remove the old carpet in the hallway. We sanded and refinished those floors. Like the kitchen, we removed the three layers of linoleum in the laundry room, and we actually knocked out those two closets. We put our water heater on the outside of the house. We put in a new door for the backyard and Skylar built this built-in for our washer and dryer. So it looks like that. He put some paneling on it and we painted it the same green as our kitchen. Reminder of the before. And this is what it looks like now with a brand new door for the backyard with more natural light. That is our broom closet. We are missing a door. It is coming in soon. And this is what this looks like. We completely opened up this hallway and made it look so much more open and spacious and roomy and bright. And we love it. All right, it is time to show you our bathroom renovation. So this is actually the before. And as you can see, it's a really nice bathroom. We actually weren't planning on renovating it at first, but we knew that eventually there were some changes we wanted to make. And since we were renovating the rest of the house, we felt like we might as well just do it now. The biggest change we made was to the floors. These tiles are really cool, but we really prefer a continuous sleek surface. It's easier to clean and maintain, and we've been really obsessed with concrete floors. So Skylar did a concrete overlay and sanded it for more depth and dimension and then sealed it. We also painted some new hardware black to match the rest of the bathroom. This is the before, and this is what it looks like now. The same vanity with a new sink top, a new medicine cabinet for more storage, and new floor and paint, and we love it. Hi everyone, we have been renovating our house and it is finally time to reveal the results of one of the rooms. So this is a bedroom that we will be using as an office. Aesthetically, we liked the way that that brick looked, but because it was actually a brick veneer instead of real brick, it was already starting to crumble. So we decided just to remove it completely while we were in this renovation phase. We also had to sand down some of the damage on the walls, sand and stain the floors. We put on new trim on the doors. We painted everything a soft white. We kept the original doors, but we added new hardware just to update them a little bit. As a reminder, this is a before of the room. And this is what it looks like now. After we refinished the 70 year old floors, we painted the room, we added the new fixtures and new lighting. And we're so happy with what it looks like and we can't wait to show you the rest of the house. All right, it is time to show you the reveal of our bedroom renovation. So when we bought this house, it had three bedrooms and here is a before of two of them. The rooms were pretty small and cramped, so we would only be able to fit our bed in there alone. And 
We thought we'd be happier and more comfortable if we combined those two rooms into one to have a more open and spacious place. So a framer came in and added some supports in the attic, so we were able to take that wall down. We added new drywall, removed the baseboards and the old trim to replace. We sanded the floors because we wanted to refinish them. They were 70 years old, so we sanded, stained, and sealed them. Skylar built us a new closet. We added more drywall, more mud, and then we also added recessed lighting and new paint. Here's a reminder of the before. And this is what it looks like now, exactly what we were envisioning, and I can't wait to show you what this looks like once we get all the furniture and decor in. My boyfriend and I just bought our very first house on this street. The house was built in 1950, and the inside needs a lot of work that we're planning on doing just the two of us and on a budget. This is our living room. This is one of the bedrooms. This is a second bedroom. And this is the third bedroom. Don't get excited about that brick wall because it is fake wallpaper. The bathroom is strangely already remodeled. This is the door that leads to the backyard and the laundry room, which is attached to our kitchen. This is the kitchen with more fake brick wallpaper and everything is original from 1950. Our favorite part of the house is this little door in the kitchen, which leads to another door outside, which is where the milkman used to leave milk jugs.